Smoke alarms can be the difference between life and death. However, sometimes they don't go off when they're meant to. Today, we're going to have a look at the main reasons why a smoke alarm will false alarm. Before we get started, I'd like to point out that there are two main noises most smoke alarms will make. That's either a full alarm like this, or a chirp, which is a small beep that happens every 30 seconds or so, depending on the model of the smoke alarm. A chirping alarm is generally related to the battery and we do cover it a little bit more in this video here. However, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a false alarm. So smoke alarms are pretty basic. They're designed to pick up on particles of ash within smoke. When there is a fire, the ash from the fire will rise up to the ceiling into the smoke clouds and flow throughout the house. Eventually, that smoke is going to flow through the alarm and as the smoke particles flow through what's called the detection chamber, those particles will cross little um, light beams within the detection chamber and trigger the alarm. Think of these light beams as being laser grids in a jewelry store. As the particles cross through those beams, it'll set the alarm off. Because of the way smoke alarms are designed to pick up on smoke particles, unfortunately other things such as dust and insects can also get into the smoke alarm detection chamber, which are two of the most common causes of false alarms. So dust and insects will set a smoke alarm off because they somewhat resemble the way smoke behaves inside the alarm detection chamber. However, there are also other common causes for false alarms and this includes electrical problems as well as moisture and humidity. Let's first talk about dust. So dust is probably the most common cause of false alarms within a smoke alarm, especially if it's been installed for a few years. Just like anything in your house, dust will get in and around your smoke alarm. And without cleaning it out or dusting it regularly, it's gonna build up and eventually can cause a false alarm. This is because dust behaves the most like smoke and is generally small little particles and is affected by wind and draft and air as it flows in and around the alarm and around your home. And this can cause the random false alarms. So making sure to keep your smoke alarm clean of, of dust by regularly cleaning it at least once a year will help prevent these false alarms. You should frequently take the alarm down from the ceiling and give it a firm tap around its circumference to help loosen up any dust that's gotten into, into the alarm and then give it a good vacuum around the circumference of the alarm. I'll include a link to a video on how to correctly maintain your smoke alarm here if you want to check that out. So keeping your alarm clean is one thing, but it's also helpful to prevent excess dust from building up inside of the alarm. So it's extremely important to remove your alarm or cover them if you're doing any home renovation. Jip rock dust is one of the most common causes of false alarms in a brand new installation or straight after renovation. The dust easily gets inside the alarm and pretty much causes it to be permanently contaminated, requiring the alarm to be replaced. It's also important to make sure that smoke alarms are not installed in the way of air conditioning vents or outlets because this extra airflow can introduce dust into the alarm and also blow the dust through the detection chamber causing false alarms every time you turn your air conditioning on. Insects love dark places to hide, so it's not uncommon to find insects within your smoke alarm. And as the insects move around with inside the smoke alarm, some insects are small enough to get into the detection chamber and cause the alarm to go off directly. Like many manufacturers, PSA smoke alarms do have an insect mesh around the detection chamber. However, we can't make the insect mesh too small, otherwise smoke won't flow through and then the alarm might not go off when it needs to in the case of a real fire. Insects will often get stuck, die and decompose within the smoke alarm, which contributes to the dust problem inside of a smoke alarm. Whenever there's insects in any place, there's always going to be spiders and spiders love hiding out in places where they're going to catch lots of bugs. The problem with spiders is they'll create webbing, which uh, catches dust. Also, when they start laying eggs and start having spiderlings going through the alarms, those spiders are small enough to go into the detection chamber and cause alarms as well. Once the smoke alarm has been infested with spiders, it's almost impossible to keep the alarm clean, and the alarm will most certainly need to be replaced. Dealing with insects can be hard, because you can't really control what they're going to do. We don't recommend spraying insect repellent into the alarm, because that's only going to set it off. What we do recommend doing is using insect repellent surface spray on the surface the alarm is mounted on. Make sure the alarm's not installed when you spray this around the alarm, and this will help keep the insects away from the alarm. Moisture and humidity are most elusive causes of false alarms, mainly because you can't see the problem. Smoke alarms should not be installed in bathrooms, kitchens, and laundries, as the humidity levels in these rooms will be extremely high and almost impossible to prevent a humidity buildup and a false alarm from a smoke alarm. Most false alarms caused by moisture and humidity will occur overnight, usually occurring within the early hours of the morning, when the humid air begins to cool down and starts to condense. Along with high humidity rooms like showers, laundries, and kitchens, drying your clothes inside, large bodies of water, and houseplants all contribute to high humidity levels. To help reduce humidity levels in your home, it is important to ensure that your home is well ventilated to ensure that any trapped moist humid air is extracted from inside to outside. Other ways you can help prevent humidity buildup is with AC units, desiccants, and dehumidifiers. Lastly, the other cause of false alarms is electrical faults and interferences. 
However, this will only affect smoke alarms which are connected to an AC circuit. Sometimes electrical faults and interferences can be very elusive and hard to pinpoint. However, a good way of knowing if a smoke alarm is being triggered electrically is if it goes off when it's connected to power. If it's going off and it's not connected to power, that means the smoke alarm is being triggered by something directly in the alarm and it's not being triggered electrically. On the flip side, if the smoke alarm is only being triggered while it's connected to power or if it's a brand new alarm, that generally means that the cause of the false alarm is electrical. Electrical problems will occur to a smoke alarm outside of the smoke alarm's control and it will always generally be caused by the electrical circuit it's connected to. If needed, smoke alarm circuits may need to be rewired completely if they were installed incorrectly from the start. Otherwise, in other extreme circumstances, EMI filters can be installed to help prevent uh, EMI from affecting a smoke alarm. However, you should consult with your electrician when going down this path. So I hope you found this helpful and if you have, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more smoke alarm and security tips and tricks, subscribe to PSA Products and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.